one Chinese New Year was asking this sister-in-law of mine that we have not seen her girl for quite a while and then my sister-in-law replied that the uh, I was shocked so I asked her, what do you mean by that? Then she said, he didn't want to live I believe she left home because her family also cannot accept her, her sexual orientation. This niece of mine, the last time we met her, she spotted a crew cut hair just like boy from behind and we spotted she was wearing a wrap around her chest. We asked her about it, then she just said that I just like to dress this way. My generation uh, is still under the very conservative mindset. Boy have to behave like boy, girl have to behave like girl, there's nothing in between. So we are still not ready to accept an LGBTQ character. During the time I have a daughter, Samantha, she was about 5-6 years old and she started showing tomboyish action and that really worries my husband and myself too. A lot of people mistake me as a boy because I have very masculine features. They go like, oh, you better wear more skirt, if not you'll be like her. Probably that the rest of the family don't like it, eh? They say, as a girl, should behave like a girl. I have oh, my kid concerns. Kid is a kid. <laughs> I don't want to be like, you know, the happy play child. Yeah. yeah. So after a while, I just let you be what you are. Which I'm happier. Yeah, right. I can see that. As years goes by, I realize as puberty hit me, it turns out that actually I'm pretty straight still. But I realize actually a lot of gay people have to constrain their behaviour and their love for their same gender because they are worried that the society will judge them. Mommy, how are you? And that's why when I went to my first Pink Dot, I wanted to show my support to the LGBTQ community. They have the right to love. So why you restrict them, you know? After my first Pink Dot experience, I was so touched by the movement that I went to be a volunteer myself. And I was very surprised that my mom joined as a volunteer next year too. Hi guys, I felt that I would do a small part to sort of change the thinking of the public and at the same time be a motherly character to those youngsters whose mother is not accepting them well. My role as mommy dolly to them I told them just be patient because it takes time. Their parents also is in my generation we are still rather conservative about things on LGBTQ. Our family of Pink Dot has grew over the years and I see more straight allies coming in, you know, being more accepting. So I believe that this site is ready to be expanding this Pink Dot family. We are definitely ready. Yes, definitely we are ready. I'm ready to see more family, especially parents, more open-minded on this subject. What's normal? Normal just, you know, social norms. But the society believes that, you know, this LGBTQ is not going to do any threat to our society and there'll be more acceptance. Isn't that forming a new normal? When we first volunteered for Pink Dot, my mom came up with this brilliant idea to look for my long-lost cousin who left home because she was ostracized and not accepted that you know she's lesbian by the family. Yeah. That was about 15 years ago. 15 years, yeah. yeah. 15 years. Yeah. 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 This is Auntie Dolly. I hope you see you. Do you know who is?
Thank you.